I'm Kevin Berger, hoping to bring affordable groceries to those in need. The Amherst H. Wilder Foundation bought an out-of-service Metro Transit bus that it plans to turn into a mobile grocery market to serve food deserts. Here to tell us more about this unique concept is Leah Driscoll, Twin Cities Mobile Market Program Manager for the Wilder Foundation. Welcome to Newsmakers. Thank you. So do I have this straight? A f one of those familiar buses is going to be like a rolling grocery store? Exactly, exactly. We're pulling out all the seats and installing shelving and refrigeration and freezers and people will enter the front door and get their basket and shop like they would at a grocery store and check out at the back and exit the rear door. So why are some neighborhoods in need of a service like this? Well, a lot of neighborhoods in the Twin Cities, especially those where a larger number of low-income people live, um, there aren't actually any grocery stores located there, or very few. Um, and other people can face barriers to accessing affordable, healthy food um, because they either um, are in a wheelchair or have a disability, they're an older adult, or they just don't own a car and um, have a hard time getting to the store because of that. So this will bring it to them. It, it's mm -hmm. it's a such a great idea. I'm sure you hear this all the time. Why didn't we think of the, Why didn't someone think of this sooner? Mm -hmm. But um, will it be affordable? Our goal is to sell food at below market rates, um, and so our prices will always be less than that of a, a major chain like Cub or Rainbow. Um, most items anyway, um, because we know that access is geographic access, but it's also um, keeping food at prices that folks can afford. Where did this idea come from, Leah? Well, uh, so I was actually working at Wilder and finishing grad school um, and got a fellowship to complete my degree. And I did my thesis on urban food deserts and solutions that people have implemented to address them. And I came across the mobile market model and thought it would be a great fit um, here in the Twin Cities. So that sort of jumped, started the idea. Um, my husband and I applied for a social enterprise competition which gave us initial startup funding, and uh, we were eventually adopted by the Wilder Foundation and now operate as a program of Wilder. Will people be, when the bus starts rolling, will people be able to identify it? Will it, will it be all painted up? <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to make it as bold and beautiful as possible. So it'll be bright green and covered in uh, pictures of fruits and veggies and milk and dairy, mm -hmm. um, and it'll have our logo on it and our name. So. Um, yeah, we definitely want people to be able to recognize us. And what neighborhoods will you begin in? We're starting on the east side of St. Paul, uh, so Dayton's Bluff, Payne Phelan, Greater East Side, and then we're also hoping to serve Frogtown, uh, Rondo, and the north end neighborhoods of St. Paul, and then eventually expand into North Minneapolis. So could you imagine, if not a fleet, uh, more than one of these uh, Mm, rolling buses, metro markets? Potentially. We're getting a lot of uh, requests for, for us to stop at different locations. Um, so we'll have to see um, how it works out. Our goal is to break even financially at the end of five years because we believe that it needs to be a sustainable operation. So, so we'll see how this first year goes. And is this something that anybody can come and shop at these? Anybody can shop. There's no asking for income requirements, no ID, nothing. We want to make it as barrier free as possible. Could this change things for people for the better? That's the plan. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> we know that uh, access to healthy food is tied to so many different health factors like obesity and diabetes and that people in low-income neighborhoods um, disproportionately experience higher rates of those conditions. So we're hoping to start to, to reverse that trend. Great solution to a problem. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us to tell us more about it. Now, if you would like to learn more about the Wilder Foundation's mobile grocery market or support, support the mobile market program, you can visit their website at TwinCitiesMobileMarket.com. Be watching for that bus. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.